and will of those of the contrary opinion say nay, the eyes of it. Thank you, honorable members. Um, what is out of order, the honorable Junet Mohammed? Uh, Madam Speaker, it's only that I'm speaking now after the facts. But first, I want to congratulate the new members, Honorable Deco and the other member who have gotten their new committees. But Madam Speaker, I want to bring something because I'm a member of the select com selection committee that is chaired by the majority leader, Honorable Kimani Shungwa. Madam Speaker, I must bring this matter out because this is when we are discussing this matter on the floor of the House, and I think it must go on record. Madam Speaker, yesterday in our selection committee, if you look at the motion that we have just passed, and you look at the list that has just been passed, and the names that have just been passed, is a list that consists only on the from the majority side. There is no single change from the minority side. But Madam Speaker, the minority side had their own changes to do. And we were not punishing anyone. We wanted to reorganize our committees so that they can become more effective. Because if you want to punish anyone, you will de him. And the de is done under Article 174, I mean Standing Order 174. But this one we wanted to reorganize for members who had three committees, members who had four committees, members who had more than two committees, so that members can effectively serve in one committee or two committee maximum. But as Speaker, we were denied to, that, to have that chance. Yesterday, for the first time in the history of this country, of this parliament, Madam Speaker, we almost went to a voting in the selection committee, where the majority blocked the minority from managing their committees, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, if this house consists of the majority side and the minority side, if the minority cannot manage their side, and they have to be managed by the majority side, Madam Speaker, if that is not capture of parliament, what is capture of parliament, Madam Speaker? If we have the office of the whip, and my leader here is the minority leader, cannot do any effective changes like what's happening now in the Senate, Madam Speaker, why are we in office? Why is Parliament facilitating us? Why don't we close those offices and then we give the keys to the majority leader and the clerk? They can run the Parliament the way than the Speaker, Madam Speaker, especially the majority leader who is the chairman of that committee. Madam Speaker, what has happened yesterday will remain in the history of this Parliament and will be remembered as the worst day a committee of parliament made a decision in this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what do we do with those, with those committees now? There are members who are coming to our offices every day who have one committee. And there are members who have three committees. So, we wanted to rationalize. And the majority now wants to run the minority side. How are we going to allow that to happen, Madam Speaker? That is a declaration of war in this house, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, if that matter is not arrested by the leadership of this house, the consequences will be dire. So, Madam Speaker, I want to urge the majority leader. Now that he is the chairman of the selection committee, he is the majority leader, to show leadership so that this house can run in the manner that is invested in the standing orders and the constitution, where we have the majority side and we have the minority side. And people have joined those coalitions by choice. Nobody was forced. So if you want to get your committee from the majority side, go and join the majority side and get your committee. Yes. The committees were shared in accordance with the proportion, the proportion, proportional representation of members in this house, Madam Speaker. Members went out on August 28th, campaigned, and they were elected from their constituencies to come and represent their people. So Madam Speaker, as minority side, I want to register here that our rights as minority guaranteed understanding order have been trembled on yesterday, Madam Speaker, and we, we, the, the way we are supposed to run the minority side cannot be dictated by the majority side. That's for a fact. Neither can we dictate how the majority side should be run by the majority leadership. So Madam Speaker, our, our, our proposal for rationalizing our sides of the committee was, re, was yesterday rejected through voting. We don't want to, we have a serious uh, crisis outside parliament. If the members wish, we bring that crisis also inside here, well and good. We know how to do it best from 2013 to 2017 to all the time we have been doing it. We know how to do it. We have done frimbis here. We have made Uru Kenyatta cannot speak in this house one time. We can repeat the same, but we don't want to go that direction. 
we want to have a direction where we show leadership and I urge the majority leader to take leadership and make sure our committees are brought here without any fail and majority should not have a say in how we run our committee. If that demand is not met, I'm issuing here notice that the consequences will be there in 14 days. Well, obviously, honorable members, the first opportunity goes to the majority leader, who is the chair. So you, it's, the floor is yours, uh, majority leader. Thank you. Thank you, honorable speaker. And honorable speaker, it is good that uh, the minority whip has raised that very pertinent issue. Because committees of this House, including the selections committee that I chair, and it's the only committee that I chair and I sit in other than the House Business Committee, where I attend as a member under the chairmanship of the speaker. But the selections committee, I chair. And I chaired the meeting yesterday, at, uh, yesterday evening from about 5 or 5 p.m. to around 7 p.m. And it is true that there was a list that came from the minority which members felt First, it was not part of the circulated agenda for the meeting because the agenda circulated, I think, from the 27th of this month had two agendas, which was approval of the membership to the two sessional committees, the Powers and Privileges Committee and the Members' Welfare Committee, and placement of the two new members, the Honorable Shege and the Honorable Major Deco. And when the leader of minority introduced the list of changes under AOB, we had a spirited engagement for close to an hour on whether first we should admit it such substantive business as AOB. And eventually we agreed by consensus that we should admit that business under AOB. Therefore, it is not true that the majority in any way stopped that business from being transacted. We did discuss the list, including myself and the Honorable Leader of Minority first reading out the list of the members being moved from what committee to what committee. And members had varied opinion to an extent where one of the members, and I'm glad the Honorable KJ is in the House because he's the one who moved the motion that we take a vote. Because where you don't agree on anything by consensus, then the vote decides. And before we voted, the leader, uh, the, the, the minority whip, is the one actually who offered to withdraw the list of changes. Because he saw the sense in building consensus. And why, why, why are we seeking consensus, Honorable Speaker? I said the committees sit on behalf of plenary. We could come and sit, the 349 of us, and place members in committees. But you know that would be a marketplace and it cannot work. Therefore, when a committee sits, and when you are a chair of a committee, and I know the Honorable Junette has never chaired any committee for the last 12 years he has been in this house, but I have been the chair of the most important committee, the Budget and Appropriations Committee, where you have to give and take. I have told the Honorable United and the Honorable Pio and I, I believe in consensus building. I believe in people engaging and arriving at fair, a fair engagement and fair results. And therefore, I want to treat a member of the minority party from whichever party, whether you're in Jubilee, whether you're in ODM, whether you're in WIPA, as a member of parliament. And where the Honorable Nikal's rights, I feel his rights are being um, infringed by the Honorable Junet. I will stand up to be counted to protect the rights of the Honorable Nikal to be a member of any committee. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I did implore from last week on the minority that other than doing changes in a very sectarian manner and in an and a very underhand manner by sneaking in at least the last minute through the clerk's office, let us engage as we did when we were forming these committees. Let us have changes from the majority. Let us, because even the majority may desire to, and we, we desire to make changes. These members in the majority, on the majority side will tell you there are some who want to sit in other committees. 
There are members who are appointed to some committees. They have never attended a single meeting. And I did commit as a chair of the selections committee that unlike in the two previous assemblies where I have sat, where the selections committee only sat once at the beginning of every session, we intend to have regular meetings of the selections committee to review the work of committees and the work members are engaging on in committees. So that we, we preempt the situation where members are placed into committees, they appear before a committee, sign, run to the next committee, sign, and probably run to a third committee and sit for 30 minutes. And you offer me no meaningful engagement and you don't give value to that committee. And therefore, honorable speaker, it is in that endeavor to ensure, one, there is fairness. Because I do not want to chair a committee where the Honorable Jerusha Momani feels that her rights were infringed on. She had not noticed that she was being moved from one committee to the other. She has not been given an opportunity by the whip or the minority leader or the majority leader or the majority whip. Therefore, it's only in the pursuit of fairness and maybe it, is, it could be my weakness to try to be fair to everybody, but not to control in any way the minority side. And I want to be on record. I have no business running the minority side. When you seek to be guided, please look for the people taking you to Jivanji, not Kimani Shongwa. I will guide you in the selections committee. Probably why the Honorable Junet is saying that nobody has been forced into their coalition. And indeed, you remember even last year, before elections, we were inviting people to the coalition of the willing, the Kenya Kwanza coalition. There is no secret that the Azimio coalition party was not a coalition of the willing. It was a co co coalition of coercion and intimidation by the Handshake brothers. We are not in the last regime, Honorable Junet, where anybody within the majority will seek to run the minority side. I want to ask you, the Honorable Junet, the minority leadership, take charge of the political parties under your coalition. I have no business managing the political parties on your coalition. But those on the Kenya Kwanza coalition can rest assured they will, and they will enjoy fairness, they will have equal opportunity to enjoy their rights and privileges as members of parliament. And there will be no animal that will be more equal than the other, as the case is in Azimio, where the Honorable Junet sits and decides who will sit in a committee by himself without engaging and without consultation with members of his coalition. Therefore, it is actually in, in, in bad faith, Honorable Speaker, for the Honorable Junet to be raising this issue, knowing we had engaged with him one-on-one. On one. Madam Speaker... Madam Speaker, uh, honourable members, I give two opportunities. One on my left to the to the honourable Junet because he has been mentioned, and on this side I'll give the honourable uh, John Waweru. Madam Speaker, Madam, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to tell the majority leader. Oh, the honourable members. I want to. I would like the honourable Junet to be heard in silence, honourable members. Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to tell the majority leader, and to remind him, that this house has majority and minority. The majority leader behaves as though we are under the Kanu days, when we were being led by the majority leader all in this house. Shame on him, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what is this fairness? What is this fairness he's talking about, when his own members? are suffering in his own coalition and is unable to deal with them. Madam Speaker, what is this fairness he's talking about? His own members have no CDF, he's, head of gov he's in government. His own members have no bursary, he's in government. His own members have no nothing to tell their constituencies, he's in government. Madam Speaker, if democracy is supposed to be allowed to mature in this country, what the majority leader has just said here should not be on record of this parliament, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, how can he say he's the one who can be fair to Jerusha Mumai? When, when has her coalition been unfair to her? When? Madam Speaker, when? Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, people like, like now, what is her name? Uh, Mashmiwa 
uh, Korere is saying, will tell you, if she wants to join another coalition, nobody's holding her back. She can go tomorrow morning. But if you are in our coalition, you must adhere to the rules and regulations of this coalition, Madam Speaker. And this parliament is going to generate to chaos now, the way okay. I'm seeing. Madam, Madam Speaker, you have we made will not allow. You have we will not point. allow. You, you have made your point, uh, Honorable Junette. And because the Honorable um, Kerry has been mentioned, and you also mentioned the Honorable Sarah Korere, I feel that it is fair. I will give a chance. Order. Order, Honorable Members. I will give a chance to the Honorable John Waweru. Please proceed, Honorable, Honorable John Kerry. Madam Speaker, I do believe that in this House we are able to debate and debate... Madam Speaker, I believe that in this house we are able to debate and debate rationally, Madam Speaker. And as you rightly said, Madam Speaker, I was in that meeting. And I want to tell this house authoritatively, Madam Speaker, that what has been presented by the majority leader is properly before this house. The committee applied itself and in the best way that they could because what is being debated here by the leader, the majority whip, actually appeared before the committee and procedurally, Madam Speaker. We had to pause the meeting to actually accommodate the list that they wanted to bring to the committee, Madam Speaker. In fact, to resolve the impasse, I had to call, to, to implore the, the chairman to actually call the committee, the, the matter to a vote. But more importantly, Madam Speaker, I want to associate myself with the words of the majority leader. That the majority side has no business managing the minority side. In fact, what is happening, Madam Speaker, is natural. Last year, when we were saying that this coalition is coercing people into Azimio, when we were saying that this coalition oh, is pulling people into uh, um, Azimio, when we were saying that this coalition is intimidating people into Azimio, we meant exactly what we did. And no amount of shouting from Honorable Mili will stop me from saying that there shall be a stampede out of Azimio because it is not a coalition of the willing. People are running out of Azimio because they are seeing the injustices in that coalition. The Wiper Party is crying in Azimio. The Wiper Party has been conned from the time this Azimio was conned. It changed into NASA and it is now Azimio and it is still conning Wiper. The reason why you see the, the opposition side, the minority side silent is because there are big brothers in the Azimio who have been bullying other junior members in that coalition, Madam Speaker. But I need to say, Madam Speaker, that as you well said, this is a house of debate. If we want Mandamano, Mandamano we can take to Jakaranda, we can take it to Jivanji, we can take Mandamano to Kamukunji, but this house shall remain the house of sober debate where ideas shall be weighed by their merit, not by how loud you shout on the floor of the house. Madam Speaker, I want to say that the majority side has presented its list, the minority, the minority side has been unable to even agree on what changes they want in these committees. So if they want to abscond, Madam Speaker, it is their Honorable right KJ. to abscond even the sittings, Madam Speaker. But Azimio shall face points. a massive stampede of members, of coalition members and parties running away from Azimio. The stampede is... A point, Honorable Members, the last opportunity, Honorable Members, will go to the Honorable Sarah Korere. Speaker, naomba ni kushukuru na mwishimua speaker wahenga wanasema mfichauchi hazai.